very, very happy to have uh, the amazing sisters, the Dufula Prince sisters in studio. Welcome back to the show, girls. Thank you. Back from the World Championships, uh, some success, some tougher events as well. And I mean, we got to go through everything. Maxim, I'm going to start with you. You're having an amazing season, and, and the World Championships uh, really proved that this year. Yeah, um, it's actually been my first World Championship since 2009. And so far this season, I've been very consistent with my skiing. And I mean, there's been so much changes in, in my life. And I'm very happy about how I'm dealing with this as far and, and mixing it with performing as well. So it's still a building process, but I'm definitely happy with my world championship finishing fourth. And Beautiful. <laughs> Uh, Justine, world champion yes. uh, for the first time. I know it's, you're an Olympic gold medalist, but the world cha championships are a different thing. Uh, tell us about your experience this well, year. Well, for me, it was my second goal after the Olympic. It's the biggest event an athlete could have, but after it's the world championship. And it was a title I never won. And winning that title, I felt just so happy. And the way I ski, the way I perform, it was exactly how I wanted to do it. And yes, it was a dream come true for me, actually. Another dream come true. <laughs> yes. The way uh, performances were a little bit more difficult for you this time around, and it just happened to be at the World Championships. Tell us about this. There's been some changes in the coaching staff as well. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, um, it was a harder weekend for me. But uh, in the same time, I learned a lot of experience into uh, those difficult days. But one point is that I'm so happy for my sister. I was jamming on them on the single day, and um, in the dual day, I finished fourth. So it was a good comeback. But um, there's a lot of work that we need to do in the near future. But I'm still really happy, and there's the, the next World Cup coming soon. So. And definitely, your, I mean, your focus is at the right place. Go back to work and taking from these, uh, these performances. Also, uh, a lot of you are saying that the conditions uh, for skiing were difficult in this particular uh, mountain. Tell, me, tell us why. Well, the, the course was really different than we're used to. It was shorter and really icy and hard. So when it's that way, we're actually really good on ice because we're from Quebec and we know ice. <laughs> we know all but, about ice, especially on our streets. <laughs> but it, it was really short, so you had to really push your limits about speed mm -hmm. to make a big, a big uh, contrast with yeah. the other athletes. Okay. So the, the strategy were different. That was mm -hmm. the big issue. Uh, you guys were very busy uh, in your off season. I mean, you got you have a ton of projects happening. Uh, I was talking to Mick Kingsbury yesterday, and he was saying, I mean, I know myself coming back after an Olympic year to get motivated to start training and to start competing again can be difficult. Is this something that any of you have felt at any point? Also, after trying new things and mm -hmm. doing uh, working on other projects. Well, it there's ups and downs, I guess. Um, Mostly, sometimes we're tired. <laughs> <laughs> like right now. Yeah, dealing, Thank you for being here so early, by the way. Dealing with the schedule is, is the new challenge now. Uh, how to balance having proper recovery and then going out when, train, when it's training time. But we, we look at the big picture as well. What's up for us in the next four years? It's going to the Olympics. And it starts right now. It's a building four-year building process. And I think that's really what gets me driven. And this year, for sure, there was the World Championships. And basically, we, we just want to for everybody to see the four lap point, the four lap point, the four lap point on the spreadsheet at the end it's of a competition. Happen. It's going to happen. Uh, girls, thank you so much for stopping by. Congratulations and keep up the hard work. You're going next week for uh, your next World Cup. It's only the middle of the season and we will be here uh, cheering on and uh, yes. we're going to see the four lap point trio on the podium. It's going to happen. <laughs>